Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ricardo Kitchen. So today we're going to make for you um, chicken soup, Jamaican stars, okay? So it's Jamaican chicken soup. And this is a recipe that my um, my grandma taught me. As you can see, I'm wearing a shirt, so God bless your soul. And um, so this is Jamaican chicken soup. So like, subscribe, and share, and um, join me in the kitchen to make Jamaican chicken soup, okay? Let's go. So guys, today we're going to make um, Jamaican chicken soup and it's going to be a, a, a lot of ingredients in our uh, soup, okay? So I already pre-seasoned my chickens, not a lot, so we cut them into very small pieces as you can see. And the seasoning that we use for this is just pretty three simple, three simple seasoning, um, meat seasoning, Larry's, and uh, Obey, okay? And we're going to have our uh, noodle. Uh, this is Jamaican Grace uh, cock soup um, noodle. Some might use chicken noodle, but I like the cock soup noodle one that I use. We're gonna use our flour. Uh, these are all my uh, vegetables that I've pre-cut up already. I already cut up um, pumpkin. We call this uh, chayote in the States, but it's also called chocha in Jamaica. Okay, and as I said, I'm gonna be switching back and forth between uh, patwa and English, because a lot of people, you know, like, like what I'm doing. So, I got also corn, I got some, um, white yam that I cut up already. We got carrots over here, some skin and thyme, hot pepper, and other and a lot of other seasoning that we're gonna be using, okay? Um, so let's get ready to start preparing. I'm about to put some water on the stove, get it boiling, and um, let's go. So these are the three seasoning that we use. Larry's, Old Bay seasoning, and uh, meat seasoning for a chicken, okay? That's, that's it, because we're gonna put a lot of um, other ingredients in the pot, and we don't want to over season for a chicken. So as the water is being boiled, we're about to add our vegetables to the water, okay? So I'm gonna add all the vegetables, pumpkin, chocho, and we um corn. What some people like to do, they like to blend out their pumpkin, okay? But at the moment, as I said, I'm in the barracks in Germany. You know, at the moment you don't have a blender with us, so we're gonna just do it this way. Which is still good, you know, and even if you don't have a blender where you have to you still do it this way, right? So we're just gonna pour this in our pot and have them cook together. Cause we gotta, gotta cook the pumpkin nice and soft along with the um, corn. As I said, other people might put it, put the chocha in last, which is the chayote, and the corn in last, but you know, we, we're doing everything all together at once. Which there's no wrong way of doing it because it's soup. It's gonna be cooking for uh, quite a bit. Probably about an hour to hour and a half, all right? And you want to put maybe about, we don't put any salt in there as yet because the noodles that we're going to use have salt inside of it plus Larry's has a little bit of salt so you don't want to over salt your pot so you put salt um, later on as you go alright, here we go I'm just going to make this boil till it becomes soft what I like to do, I like to cover it for a few minutes until it starts to bubble up and then after that, I take the cover off because you don't want your soup to be um, boiling over on the stove. Alright? So, what I'm about to do right now, as my pot start coming to a boil, you see? I'm just remove this out of the way, and this is how you're going to be cooking from now on. So, as our pot, the pot the stove a bubble, we're going to uh, get some garlic going. Just two uh, cloves of garlic. We're gonna put this in nicely and have this boil out in our soup. Give the soup a nice flavor and a nice taste. Yeah, there we go. Get a spoon from the plate. There we go. Just stir that in. And we're gonna be cooking without the lid for the entire time. Alright, because you don't want soup to boil over on the stove. And it's the best way. So as you can see, the pot boiling right now I'm about to add a bit of thyme not much just this amount so what I like a lot of people like to do, especially um, older folks they like to use um, just probably a stalk of scallion or probably you know there's a, there's a bit of scallion to tie the thyme together that's the stick doesn't go all over in the pot but this is fine and as you can see getting that nice rich orange look from the pumpkin good so just let that keep boiling for another uh, 15 to 20 minutes and then we're going to add more ingredients to our pot. So as we check on our pot, 
coming on lovely. We're about to add the hot pepper to it. There you go. Scotch body pepper. And if you cannot get Scotch body pepper, um, it's the same as habanero pepper, or you can uh, also get chili pepper, okay? Just put that in there. That's gonna cook in the soup and give it a nice spicy flavor. Yeah? Soup coming on good, people. Coming on good. All right, at this time, we're about to put some scallion, also known as spring onion, in our pot. So I'm gonna cut this up real quick. And I like to cut my scallion a little bit smaller than normal, right? So you get to boil out pretty good inside the pot, okay? And the reason why I had this um, dish rag on the bottom of the cutting board, so the cutting board don't slip while they're cutting up your, your vegetables or whatever you're cutting, so they don't, um, they don't slip and cut yourself, right? All right, looking good, people. About to add this in the pot. There we go. And then we're gonna give it a nice stir. I wish you guys could smell this. I wish you guys could smell this. Yeah, let that keep uh, boiling. So at this moment, we're about to um, add some carrots. Let's cut this up real quick. And you can cut your carrots all you want it. I like mine like this in my soup. There you go. And let's stir that in. Yes, my people, soup is coming out local, you know? As I said, different uh, persons cook soup a little bit different. Some may add uh, certain other ingredients before the others. So let me get this nice and stirred. And then I'm gonna add my yams after this, but because I'm using white soft yams, I like to tend to add it a bit last, so it doesn't um, overcook or cook and they get super soft in the pot, okay? Yeah man, food are going good people. So we're gonna cut up some potato. We call this Irish potato in Jamaica, okay? And you should like this. Nice little dice pieces. We're gonna wash it and clean it up. Yep, there we go. And then after our potato, we're gonna add some yam also to it. Because the potato and the yam cooks right about the same time, okay? And then give it a nice little stir. Nice one. Look at that, people. Look at that. Let me get out your hair real quick. See that? See that? Soup will come out good. Let that cook down for another 15 20 minutes. We'll check on it again, okay? So, as your food or your vegetable that you put in the pot, at least cook halfway. You can start add your, uh, your chicken now, right? There you go. Just put that in there and let that boil also. There we go. Nice one. Ooh, almost. All right, see? And just let that boil for another 15 to 20 minutes. And then uh, we'll check on it again, okay? Looking lovely, people. Looking pretty lovely. Now that our chicken is more than a uh, Halfway cooked, we're about to make some little spinners or dumpling as you call them, as we call them in Jamaica, right? So we have flour, a little bit of cornmeal, and a little bit of salt, and just gonna knead this into a nice little dough, and then I'll start adding our little dumplings, aka spinners. Alright, people? Soup coming out lovely. Alright, here we go. Nice dough. Just a little bit of flour, not too much. Alright. And once you're gonna do the steak off, just a small piece about this. I'm just gonna roll it like this. Call these spinners. Just like that, you know? And drop it in our pot. We're just gonna do uh, a couple of them. So I like to have dumpling in my soup. Especially dumpling with the cornmeal. You guys know I love dumpling already with cornmeal, right? Yeah? Let's get it. The okay, soup is coming out lovely guys. I wish you guys could smell it. I remember how I teach you guys. How to make um, regular dumpling? I'm just gonna make this last one. Uh, regular Jamaican size dumpling, okay? As I said, let's roll it in the center of your, your, your palm, your hands. 
and just use a thumb like this to kind of uh, shape, make it shape form as you go along. Right? There you go. There it is. Nice one. And then just stir it from there on so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. Nice. Look at that. Lovely. Look at that, people. Let's get some of you guys here. There you go. So at this time guys, I'm going to pour the, uh, the Grace uh, flavored cock soup mix inside there. I'm just let you guys see, which is noodle. A little bit seasoning too inside there. That's how I said you don't add salt to it because this has a little bit of salt also in there. Alright? Such a way. Turn the water off. That's what's going on. And I'm just going to stir that in nicely. And let's have that boiled into our soup to give it that nice, rich flavor. There we go. Coming on lovely. I'm just gonna leave that to be boiling again for another uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So we're gonna check on it, okay? All right, guys, let's check on our soup again. And it's coming on lovely. As you can see, the nice rich color it has now because that's all the seasoning and flavor that's in there along with the, uh, the soup mix. Dump it this nice and um, on the top of your uh, of the soup. That means it's being cooked. Chicken looking good. Trust me, guys, it's smelling great too. I wish you guys could taste it. So, guys, we're gonna give this one last stir, and then we're gonna put this on a plate in a few minutes. Okay. And as I said, you can always go ahead and uh, taste your soup. I just did and it tastes pretty good. So just, just a few more minutes, about three or four minutes. And then um, that's it for us, okay? So there you go guys, Jamaican chicken soup. Uh, so please like and share the videos. And if you want me to make something for you, a uh, special dish for you, just let me know, okay? Just put it in the comment section. So until next time, bye.